ophthalmic artery is derived from the internal carotid artery. It gives rise to several branches that divide it into two main groups. The orbital branches, which are colored orange here, supply the structures of the orbit, the eyelids, and the lacrimal gland. And the ocular branches, which are colored dark red here, supply the eyeball itself. What is important now are the ocular branches of the ophthalmic artery. The central retinal artery is the first ocular branch of the ophthalmic artery. It arises just after the ophthalmic artery enters the orbital cavity through the optic canal, inferior and lateral to the optic nerve. From its origin, the CRA runs forward and medially, then ascends to approach the inferior surface of the optic nerve. At a point approximately 10 millimeters behind the eyeball, it pierces the optic nerve sheath at the level of the optic disc. The CRA emerges from the optic nerve head and immediately branches into four major retinal arterioles. They supply the inner two-thirds of the retina from the nerve fiber layer to the inner nuclear layer. The CRA is an end artery. It lacks significant anastomosis and collateral circulation. As a result, occlusion leads to ischemia and results in sudden, profound, painless monocular vision loss. The short posterior ciliary arteries are usually 6 to 12 in number. They pierce the sclera around the optic nerve. They form the choroidal circulation, supplying the outer third of the retina and the optic nerve. A branch of the choroidal circulation, often one of the short posterior ciliary arteries, may give rise to a ciliar retinal artery found in 25% of individuals, supplying part of the macular region. Importantly, unlike the central retinal artery, these arteries have anastomoses and partial collateral circulation.